we had a uh, survivor that came home, drove home, parked in front of her residence, and as she got out of the vehicle, she was approached by uh, Otis McKenzie, who is a uh, parolee uh, with prior sexual assault history. Um, he was residing in his vehicle in that neighborhood uh, for multiple days, and he approached the survivor as she got out of her vehicle and attempted to rob her. He asked for money and put a sharp object into her, uh, didn't penetrate, uh, but used it as his, his threat mechanism. Uh, ordered her into the vehicle, at which time he physically assaulted her. Um, she does, she, our victim did sustain injuries as a result of, of the assault. She didn't know what was gonna occur at the time. Uh, he, he took her vehicle, utilized her vehicle. Um, so during the kidnapping, he drove her north to where he pulled over in a, to an orchard and then proceeded to force her into the trunk of her own vehicle. He drove approximately an hour later north. They ended up in some orchard in Merced. Uh, we have details of where through tracking mechanisms, but she was taken out and sexually assaulted. He ordered and forced her back into the vehicle, at this time in the passenger side of the vehicle. Threatened her again, demanded money from her. She didn't have any money on her, uh, but she did uh, inform him of her bank to where he drove her to the city of Modesto, asked around for directions to the location of the bank that she had. It was at that point he parked in an inconspicuous area near the bank. She was able, as he exited the vehicle, she exited and was able to escape. We have a Megan's Law sexual assault predator that registered with us on March 7th as a transient. All of our communities are dealing with transient populations, the fear of what they bring. Not all of them are sexual predators, and I do not want to make that statement, but we do have criminal elements within our homeless population. And for females, the fear of feeling safe in their own communities, in their own neighborhoods, that's our number one priority. I would just like to state that our survivor is courageous. Her actions saved her own life. All too often we know that this ends tragically, sometimes in a death. And she saved herself. We respond to trauma differently. Each person, each individual responds to trauma differently. In this case, she found the courage to be able to escape on her own. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.